and today's video is all about my best-selling Halloween DIY. These are so simple to make and I make them all with just scrap pieces of wood that I get for free. So we got lots to do. Let's get started. Okay, so I am going to show you my best selling Halloween DIY and these are so incredibly easy to make and I do these all on free wood that I find. I have friends that are home builders and I have them save me the little cutoffs from the wood. You can also go to Home Depot. They have a section at the back where they cut the wood where they put the cutoff ends that you can grab for free or check out wood piles of people that are going to burn them in their wood stove. Pull out what you can use to make these. I've painted these with my black homemade chalk paint and then I took a pillar candle that I got from the dollar store, went all around the outside edges and now I'm painting on top with some homemade orange chalk paint. Let it all dry and when I sand it, it just brings up that natural wood underneath from where the candle wax was and we have a really distressed piece of wood. We're gonna do our Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer method. I printed this off on my LaserJet printer on regular computer paper. This graphic is available in my Etsy store if you wanna grab them and you can make some of these for yourself. And this process will also work on an inkjet printer. So you don't need a Cricut, you don't need stencils. You can do this all at home on your computer and make these really affordable. The less you have to pay for supplies, the more money in your pocket when you can sell these items. I understand not everybody can find free wood, but if you can and you ask around, you'd be surprised what you can round up to turn into shelf sitters or signs. I let these sit for 24 hours, dampen the paper, rubbed off the paper. Now, sometimes on a darker color, you'll see the outline of the Mod Podge a little bit. You can always go back in with that orange paint and blend it in. Now, I just went to my backyard. I got some twigs and I drilled a hole in the top of these pieces of wood and I'm gonna put a little bit of wood glue in there, stick those little branches in there so it looks like a stem from a pumpkin. Now I'm gonna add an embellishment to the top. I had some raffia and some yarn and some flannel ribbon. Now the flannel ribbon, here's a little trick. I went to the thrift store, I found a flannel shirt for a couple dollars that had a stain on it. So I ripped it into strips. I had hordes of ribbon now that I can use on any of my Halloween projects. Now another project that you can do with these scrap pieces of wood that sell really well. I am going to paint this with my black homemade chalk paint and I'm going to use some Vaseline around the edge this time instead of the wax. This gives a really nice distressed look also. Just put it anywhere where you would want it to look naturally aged. And then I had some green acrylic paint that I added right on top. Now it's really important to take these extra steps to make these pieces of wood look authentic and different than just painting them a solid color because this will make them sell better. And then I'm adding a little bit more Vaseline again. I've put on some orange chalk paint that I had and, and then I put on some yellow acrylic paint. You can mix and match this paint for this technique and it works fabulous. Wiping off wherever there was Vaseline and I'm exposing those colors underneath to give a really chippy look and we're going to turn this into a shelf sitter. I've taken this outside and I've really aggressively sanded it with an 80 grit sandpaper to finish it off. Now again we're going to use that same process to put graphics on this shelf sitter. I've printed this graphic off on my laser jet printer. You can also use an inkjet and we're going to put just a light coat of Mod Podge matte completely over that graphic and then put it on the block of wood and let it sit overnight and then we're gonna take a damp rag the next day. Just dampen it so you can just start to see the letters show through and then rub off the paper. And then seal it up with polyacrylic sealer. And if you don't have any polyacrylic sealer, you can also just seal it up with the Mod Podge. Gonna add a little bit of twine to the top and tie it in a nice knot. Another thing that I like to do is when I'm at the thrift store and it's summertime, but I am finding fall and Christmas theme embellishments, I always pick them up because they're probably cheaper, tuck them away so I can bring them out during that season and use them on my DIY projects and you can save a little bit of money that way. And we've created a beautiful shelf sitter that sells really well. Now let's do another scrap wood Halloween DIY that sells really well. We're gonna do a different painting technique on this one. 
getting out our Elmer School Glue. Using Elmer School Glue creates a really fantastic chippy finish. You're going to spread that all over the piece of wood and don't let it dry. While it's still wet in long strokes, brush that paint over top of that glue. And as it dries, you can use acrylic or latex paint. And as it dries, it's going to give you this fabulous crackle that I think looks great for the Halloween season. Again, we're just going to add a twig to the top of that. You can also use a dowel and seal it up with some polyacrylic sealer. Now, I think this needs a little bit more of an embellishment and that will also make them sell better than just having a block of wood that's painted. Added some ribbon and a little um, burlap bow to the front and then I found these little plaques at the dollar store and I thought it would be fit perfect to finish off this little scrap piece of wood. Painted it with some black chalk paint, some white chalk paint, distressed it a little bit. And then I'm also going to add a Happy Halloween graphic to the front of it using the Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer method again. Taking the time to add nice embellishments and graphics to these projects definitely helps them sell better. And I think this turned out spooktacular and would look perfect on a shelf for the fall season. And here's another idea, using scrap wood to create Halloween decor that sells really well. Painted this block of wood with some black chalk paint and then some white chalk paint. Now I picked up these Halloween themed napkins at the dollar store. We're going to rip them down to one ply and then we're gonna decoupage it onto that block of wood. Plying the Mod Podge mat just in a light coat and then we're going to lay that napkin right on top of it and then smooth it out making sure there's no bubbles and no wrinkles. And then we're going to apply just a light coat of that Mod Podge on top and then set it aside and let it dry. Once it's dry I've taken it outside given it a really good sanding and again we're going to add that twig in the top because I think that's an extra little step that makes them sell so much better with a little bit of glue, add that twig to the top. And I'm gonna paint this one with a little bit of green acrylic paint. Add some raffia to the top, and you've created another really cute shelf sitter that's going to sell really well. So all of these signs that you're seeing right here, I have made for free other than a little bit of a cost of the paint and the embellishments. And that means when you sell them, you can put more money in your pocket. And not to mention how adorable they are. So I hope this has been a helpful video and you've got some inspiration. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.